Hello viewers, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss how we can easily configure the alarm in HMI. To configure the alarm in HMI, we have to go to the HMI here. Then we need to take a skin. Here I have already taken a skin and rename as an alarm. Open that alarm skin here. Now take the alarm viewer. To take the alarm viewer, you have to go to the toolbox and from the control object, here you can take the alarm viewers. Now you can adjust the alarm viewers by like this here. In this alarm viewer, you can see the header here, number, alarm number, time, and date, and the alarm text. In the right side, you can see the scroll bar. If you go to properties of the alarm viewer by right click here, in general, we can see that this alarm viewer will display the current alarm instead, means the pending alarm, which is not acknowledged or reset. Okay. If you choose the alarm buffer, then this alarm viewer will show the current alarm plus the earlier alarm historical alarm okay first i will show the current alarm pending alarm in this alarm here by appearance you can select the color border you can you can okay you can increase the width of the border in display you can select deselect the scroll bar vertical scroll bar okay in toolbar you can choose the button here i will use the acknowledge button here okay button border with here you can choose okay other alarm here that uh, column if you choose the alarm status you can just tick it and here you can see the alarm status Okay, if you untick the header, the header will not show here. Okay, this is the alarm viewer setting. We can set like this. Okay, now you have to configure the alarm. To configure the alarm, go to HMI alarm by double clicking the HMI alarm, it will open that window. Here you can see the um, some button. Here discrete alarm. Discrete alarm means this is a digital alarm, means the alarm generated by the binary tag. And in analog tag, analog alarm, it will generate the analog value. Here the system event, it will show the event of the PLC or HMI. For now, I will deselect it. Okay. Here we can see that here the display symbol of the Error. If the alarm is error, then it will show the background color red. If the alarm is warning, if you select, then it is show as a white. For now, I select it the yellow. Okay. For system, it will show the dollar sign. Okay. Here alarm. If you hear some alarm group, if you choose some motor alarm or some some alarm in group 1 or some other alarm in group 2 then you can choose ok here if you double click or single click id 1 add new then here it will generate the alarm ok you can give a tag name here you can leave as it is here you have to show the here you have to write the alarm text when the alarm when the binary tag is high, then your alarm will be generated. So, for now, I will show the alarm that when the btxs underscore word dot zero, if you go to HMIDP, that if the btxs word, this is a word that word address has 16 bit. If the bit is first bit is high, then the alarm will generate. So here bit access word 
first first bit is high okay and alarm class is zero so and here you have to give a trigger track track number here if you go hmi db here see that it is only show the integer or the what tag that means for the hmi tag you have to choose the what you cannot use the binary tag here but from the what tag you can use uh, you can create the discrete alarm because in word you have the 16 bit so for uh, individual 16 bit you can create individual 16 alarm for now i will use the btx's word and trigger bit is 0 because here we use the bit 0 okay and for the analog alarm i will use the analog alarm that in the home skin if the added value here is the more than 300 or 500 then the alarm will generate so here i will act as a added value more than limit or more than limit set okay and it is a error alarm if you choose here constant value or you can choose the ACMI tag that ACMI tag uh, limit below. Here I will give a constant below that 300. Okay. Now if you simulate the ACMI, here, okay. Here we didn't give the tag number of the added below. If you go to the ACMI DB. Here you can see that added integer. Added integer is the tag of this IO field. This one. Okay. Now simulate again. Okay. Now see that added value more than limit set. If you go to zero, value is zero. Uh, added value more than limit set it is still create but uh, value is in less than the 300 so why it is like this because it is value is uh, your alarm is not there but you still not you will still not acknowledge so if you give a command by this acknowledge button the alarm will be gone okay here i have used the button this one for generating the coil high by this bit access by of bit 0 I have used the bit command button for generate the coil high this one so if we give a command this one that alarm is generate bit access what first bit is high so okay again if you go this one this one also high one thing you may notice that your alarm is generated but it is not showing the alarm color here you can see the alarm display symbol here alarm number analog alarm number and number one and the time of generate this alarm okay if you want to if you want to see the alarm color you have to go to the runtime setting from here from here in alarm you can see the alarm class color if you tick it then you can see the alarm color here now you have to see again to see the color okay here there is one alarm only you cannot see because it's selected if you select the selecting color so like this now if i give a command this one then see the alarm color this is the alarm color red so if you want to see the 
alarm color yellow that warning alarm then you have to make a warning alarm okay from here by clicking add add alarm here that second second bit is high and here i will show it as a warning select as a warning so here and the tag number is same the bit address word one here bit access word and trigger bit is one okay if you go to the program here that bit access word is one when i when I click this one, the error, the warning alarm will generate as a yellow color. Okay. We have changed the setting, so we have to generate the runtime again. Okay. Now, if we click this one, it makes a red. If we click this one, it makes a yellow alarm. Okay. Yellow alarm already take the Okay. Now see the we can see the buffer alarm that alarm generated earlier. So to see the earlier alarm buffer alarm we have to take the buffer alarm viewer okay now i will make another skin and name as a alarm alarm buffer okay in in that skin i will use the same template by selecting the skin and skin properties okay now i will drag and drop the alarm viewers and set the alarm viewer like this okay and go to properties of the alarm viewer in general tab now i will select the alarm buffer okay also in toolbar i will select the acknowledge button okay okay we, to go to the alarm buffer page from the alarm page i will take a button here that buffer and give a command event click event that when i give a click command then change the skin to alarm buffer skin okay now again i will simulate the hmi okay now if i click this one see we can go back to the hmi alarm buffer Okay, now going back to the home page, if I give a more than 100, um, 300, then added value more than limit set. Okay, if I give a command, this one, it will generate this one. If I give this one, okay, if I reset it, okay, going back to this one, warning alarm will not show here, only alarm, error alarm will show here until the acknowledge okay if we go to buffer page then all alarm we can see here all alarm we can see here okay and this is the buffer alarm so we can see the buffer alarm as well as the current alarm okay thank you